Now six rare collections of world wines will be available on an online auction by Strauss and Co this month. It's expected to be the highest value wine auction ever staged in Africa. The wines which have been collected over many years have been minted as NFTs. Let's bring in senior wine specialist at Strauss and Co Roland Peens to tell us more about this unique offering. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Roland's of course you know there's a lot on offer um, when it comes to this wine auction. But tell us more about, you know, this year's auction and the prestigious fine wine offerings. Thank you, Baron. Uh, yeah, this is really exciting, uh, especially because these wines have really not been uh, sold in Africa before. This depth of collection, uh, there's six producers of the most extravagant, rare, expensive wines on the planet. And we've minted these collections as NFTs and they're going on sale on Strauss right now. Let's talk about, you know, that that phrase you just used, the wines have been minted as NFTs, you know, for somebody watching right now, they might not under understand what that exactly means for the buyer. Just explain that for us. Sure. So uh, what's important about vintage wine and especially very rare, expensive wine like this is provenance. One needs to know that what you're buying is um, of the right quality. It's been stored correctly. And of course, that it's genuine. It's not fake. So uh, we had a world expert from uh, France come fly down to South Africa and go through every single bottle that was in this Coates family collection. And uh, he checked to see whether it was 100% genuine. Uh, some of these wines do get faked in, in international markets because of their price. And he's checked and verified every single bottle. He's given it a barcode. We've taken a photo of every bottle and we put this on the blockchain. So that future uh, buyers um, or future sellers will be able to not only get the wine, but they'll get the full picture of the seller as well. The track record, the provenance, and that extra level of security as well. Uh, so these are NFTs, but they're actually wine collections as well. So for, um, for those out there that are not keen on NFTs, they can certainly just buy the collection and, uh, and enjoy these incredible wines. And, and I know there are four bottles from the 1800s that are up for sale. Um, tell us more about this. It's a, it sounds very unique. And what what price do you think this will will reach at the end of the auction? Sure. So this is a part of the Chateau de Ikem uh, vertical, uh, which we're, we're, we've minted as an NFT, and it goes from 1892 all the way through to um, a, a fairly young vintage, and it spans that 120, 130 years. Uh, there are obviously some vintages missing where they didn't produce or where the collector didn't have it. But there are four bottles that are from uh, the last century, the previous century. And yes, it's amazing. This wine, it does age very long. You can see by the pictures that the, the colors are a little bit darker when they're, when they're older. But they're incredible. Um, I've uh, been lucky enough to drink some really old Chateau Iken. And um, you can see that they're, they're still in wonderful condition. Um, and this lot is expected to fetch around four to five million. You are quite fortunate to have been able to taste, um, you know, wines from the 1800s um, that are about, you know, a few million bucks worth. Um, but let's talk about another star attraction, um, the Chateau Mouton Rothschild. Um, those are also up for sale. That's right. That's right. Yes. And uh, Chateau Mouton Rothschild is one of the first growths of Bordeaux. Um, and it's obviously very well known. And in 1945, to signify the end of the Second World War, they decided to put artwork um, on the labels. And from 1945 all the way through every year now, um, there's one behind me of the 1982, um, the, the, the labels have created this incredible collectability of Chateau Mouton Rothschild. Every year you purchase the, the new uh, vintage, but you also purchase the new artwork on the label as well. So Chateau Mouton from 19... 45 all the way through to 2014 and what's incredible in this lot is there are over 30 double magnums so three liter bottles in the collection from the great vintages like 2000 1982 and even back to 1961 there's some large form of bottles and of course you know a portion of the nft sale will go to an npo uh, which is the south african sommeliers association tell us more about this npo and why it's so important for you to to support 
Well, really, it's important because uh, the wines that are being served in Africa don't um, match the wines perhaps that are being ser served in international markets where sommeliers can get their best level of training by tasting and serving the greatest wines in the world. Uh, being at the tip of, tip of Africa we, um, and having a, a weak currency, we don't get to taste and experience these wines often. So part of the proceeds goes to uh, SASA, the South African Sommeliers Association. They were also lucky enough to do some training on these wines, taste a lot of these wines, to get to understand what they're about, um, to know what these great wines taste like, these vintage wines. And so it's really important for wine professionals to understand and know and taste these wines um, so that it can become part of their rhetoric and, uh, and they can be as professional as possible and compete internationally. Mm. Uh, let's talk about internationally and South Africa's role in that international space when it comes to the wine industry. Of course, you know, you work in, in the wine industry um, and you, you know way more than what, you know, most of us do. But, you know, how, how well is South Africa generally faring when it comes to its wines internationally and how well are we respected um, with our wines? Yes, yeah, sadly, over um, the last few decades, um, we've been known as a value producer. So our wines are incredibly well priced, which is great for, for the consumer. But we're not known in the, the top end of the market like the French um, or the uh, Americans. Uh, but that's changing. And we do have a number of wines that have been awarded 100 points or the perfect score over the last five or six years. Uh, so really, we need more um, uh, fine wines traded on the secondary market, and that's what Strauss & Co. have done very successfully over the last five years, offer uh, clients um, the ability to sell their vintage wines, but also buy vintage wines as well. So this is um, part of our, our series of auctions for the year, and most of the wine that we do sell is South African wine, rare South African wine. But of course, with this Coates collection, which had um, incredible wines in it, this is a, a feature auction of ours. And for the wine enthusiasts watching now and who have a few bucks to spare, who don't maybe know about this auction already, when is it taking place? It's online now. You can go to straussarts.co.za and, uh, and, and it's an online auction that will end on Monday evening. And uh, even if you don't have the, the few million to buy these NFTs, it will be quite exciting, I think, at the end to see what the, what the wines fetch, what these lots fetch. Um, and uh, it's going to be exciting for all of us. So, uh, yeah, thank you. Very exciting, Dean. Thank you so much. That's Senior Wine Specialist at Strauss & Co. Uh, Roland Peens joining us this evening um, to talk about that um, wine um, auction that is taking place right now, like you said, until Monday. Uh, the highest value wine auction ever staged in Africa.